Hello, David Bradley here. I know I said earlier that I was going to take this inside to dismember it, but um, it's such a nice evening, I thought maybe I would do a little bit right now. So I set this up so that I can do things over here and not get in the way of you over there. So as I look at this, oh, and while we were away, I did get the keyboard connector off. And my golly, I have never, I mean, it looks beautiful. The cable all looks dandy, but oh my word, it was stuck. It was stuck, stuck, stuck. And one thing I noticed up here, and I know you can't see up there, but there is some rust on the screws to do with the keyboard, which of course, well, you know, it is what it is. So firstly, I'm going to disconnect this. It's on a connector called J2. And this is where you decide um, what you're doing in terms of, is it a pet, is it a super pet, or what is it? And if I remember rightly, and I may not, oh, there does seem to be a little screw there, or something. But as I, as I remembered, if you just wiggled this, it would come off, but it seems not to, so I'm not going to force it. And really it doesn't matter that much if it comes off, there does seem to be something there. Um, anyway, so that is critical. Um, it's only, you know, two switches, and actually they look kind of corroded. <coughs> but still, most necessary. So, um, what else do we have here? Oh, good. So this is the connector that goes to the monitor. And it comes out very nicely. And then we have... This goes to the power supply that we don't trust. And I do see some corrosion on it. And I'm still baffled by this... What is up with this fuse thing? But you know, it's funny, I don't remember ever finding a pet with a bad power supply. But it is possible. Especially if water has got in there. So, uh, here is the power connector. Here, the power connector. It gets power from the main board and takes it up to the super pet board. A lot of these connectors, quite brilliantly, um, this one has three on this side, two on this side, as that you need. And then there are things that block the one. So, really, you can only put it on right, which is a good thing. <coughs> now, this is the one. This is the good end of the ribbon connector that connects to the main board and connects to the other board. And that is just dandy. Um, works fine. Um, always goes on nicely. It's the other end that has issues. So now, there are some screws. And there are not many that we need to be involved with. They are not. <laughs> they, well that one has some rust on it. I suspect somewhere this machine spent some time in a basement or a garage. Now here is part of the troubles I sometimes find. Oh, no, it came out. But I know, like underneath there are these legs that this sits on. And I see that that leg is spinning, although it is there, so that's a good sign. So, usually... There's, all, oh, oh, we've got it out. there's always one screw that seems to be difficult, but so far, we're okay. Now, I'm going to look very carefully, because it's been a while since I've done this, and ever so gingerly, pull this out. And there it is. Super Pet Combo Beat Board, assembly number 9000007. And the board 
looks in good shape. Does it work? I don't know. So now we have a much better view of the 8032 board. And I definitely see some signs of corrosion on the... Well, I guess it's the user port and the IEEE port and the cassette ports. I think. Yes, the, uh, the one port has never even been opened. But they do look... Well, not shiny. So I think there is some corrosion, but does that matter? I don't know. We'll find out. This is the other end of the keyboard cable. And it generally comes out quite nicely. It's actually two parts. Um, once again, it has a sort of a witness mark, so you can only get it on the right way. Um, as much as I fear doing this, I'm going to stick this back on the keyboard so I know it's okay. And it's there. Oh. Boy, that is rich. That is tough getting it back on. So now we have... This is the power connector. Only two little wires. But it plugs in in two different places on the main board. And then goes up to the super pack board. Very vital. Without power, we have nothing. And here is the moment I sort of dread, but it must be done because, see, in order to test this, I've got I've got to test this as an 8032 first. So I'm going to have to put the 6502 chip back into this board, which means even though this has a nice place to grab, I hate doing this. I'm going to very gently. Oh, I'm going to hold the board down. Very gently. I need two hands. Very gently. Rock this ever so carefully. Oh. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. It is out. And all the pins are intact. And they don't look bent. That's a good sign. By the way, this is part number 324046-01. I don't know where you would possibly find another, but they must be out there somewhere. I'm going to just set this over here, so be very careful with it, because I do not want to screw that up. So, now we have, see, these legs go into what would be the normal screws. So, in order to get this board out, we have to, we would normally have to remove the screws, in this case, we have to remove some of these legs. Four legs. Now, there are other things that keep this board in. There are these little plastic doohickey things. Well, it seems the little plastic doohickey things, which normally sort of fit into these holes in the board, are quite happy to come out. So that's just dandy. Um, oh, there's, there's a big wire. A big, 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 big wire. Um, that, I think, is what they call either somebody screwed up or post-engineering something or other. A lot of the machines will end up with something such as this if, you know, somehow something didn't go well. Now, underneath here, I do see oh, some bits of something. Oh, maybe it's just Kleenex or something. Um, anyway, I believe all the chips are there. So of course, the 6502. And the board itself doesn't look bad, although if I, I think if I turn this around you can see. Um, maybe. Now certainly these, this connector has had, well maybe this one's been used and these ones haven't. Although this one certainly looks like it's been used. This one though, 
Anyway, we'll see if that is an issue or not. So there we have uh, the super super pet disassembled. Two boards, some legs, some screws, connector cables. I'm just going to very carefully set this down. Whoa. Don't want to hurt it. And underneath, of course, we have. Um, the metal case, the housing that it goes into, <coughs> and the power supply. Oh, okay. Here is another sacred wire. This must be set aside very carefully as well. That's the p double power connector. What is that? That goes to the monitor. That goes to the keyboard. Here is the power supply. Hmm. It too is on the legs. It does look some rusty. As I say, I've really never had to do much with these. I don't know. Just putting a screwdriver on here. I can't get this out. Uh, you know what? I see the leg down below. It is happily turning which does not make me happy. <coughs> it does not. So, I think we have disassembled all that we have. Oh, that's not there. Huh. Interesting. There's a little brass thing. I guess that was... That held one of the legs in place. I wonder if I have dropped something underneath. I see nothing. But I will keep that handy. Maybe it just sits there. These other ones are very permanently affixed to the board, or to the, to the base, so maybe something went wrong and that had to be used. I don't know. But I'm now gathering up the screws. I'm putting them very carefully over here. By the way, over here, as I am working outside, is the hood of my car. And that is the disassembly. Now, I, I wish I could get this off. But it does seem very happy to be there. I really don't want to force it, so I will not. So, I'm just coming around to the other side here, where I'm rescuing the screws that held the machine together, or close, and the circuit board that makes this A super pet. So, we now have the machine disassembled, and as I keep saying, I will soon take everything inside and explore what is working and what is not. So, thank you for coming. Stay tuned, we'll see if this machine, or parts of it, are indeed salvageable, rescuable, or can be used for donors for other machines. What is the answer to these probing questions? I just don't know. But soon, I'm hoping that somewhere, if not here, oh, there's that little brass thing. Gotta save that. Somewhere, if not here, that a super pet will indeed come to life because of the work that we have done here today. So, stay tuned, keep you updated. Hopefully we can rejoice together at some point that this machine or parts of this machine comes back to life and all is well and good in the world. Yes, 
the world of Commodore. David Bradley, signing off. Bye for now.